this is a Tuesday before the 127 sales start. And I stopped at the Big Chicken between just outside Salina, Ohio. And to see what they have. First place is closed, but they're already selling at a lot of these places. So I'll give you a quick preview of what you should start looking for. And uh, what's out here. Uh, New Camp's uh, Flea Market, I used to stop out at the past, no longer has people set up. So a lot of them are here. So if you'd like to go to Knee Camps, you want to come on down to where the Big Chicken's at. Uh, it's just a little bit farther north, and it's just outside Salina, Ohio, just to the south of it. So we can see all these antique chairs, vintage chairs. Take a quick walk inside. A little Asian theme, $15. Looks like some parts for some uh, tables. He's got actually the tables behind him. Probably have some of this stuff set up yet. Mm -hmm. We're uh, we're a little early, so but these guys are out here, so make sure you stop in and check his stuff out. He's got a lot of nice crates over here. Fruit and for your kitchens and stuff. That one down there might be an ammo one. Yeah, it says uh, high explosives. So it's either dynamite or ammo or something along those lines. That's pretty cool. Uh, looks like they might be, uh, and they're $12, so the prices aren't too bad. Yeah, there again, $12. I don't think they're going to last very long at that price. Some old signs, old gate sign right there, $25. <coughs> old oil can, $20. And uh, let's see what we got here, Mason. We got a Coke Cooler, $75. Got a old stagecoach trunk, mid 1800s, $145. That's pretty neat. And that's wood. It's tack, all tack work on top of that. That's really neat. Uh, if your initials happen to be J W I, that'd be even better yet. Get some uh, vintage advertising. That's really neat. Forty dollars. And if you like old cameras, he's got a nice selection of old cameras. Thirty, forty, forty-five. And uh, these are Kodaks. All Eastman Kodak which would have been the ones that have back in the day. And then we got a little bit newer right here. So that's really neat. If you like vintage photography, that's a really nice, good one. That's uh, Kenny Roth, a friend of mine. He always has some really nice antiques. Um, starting out front here, he's got churns. And uh, we'll take a quick look at one real quick. He's got a standard churn, $250. Actually, you might be able to get it for $200 because right there's a different price. And uh, But it looks real good inside. Another one. It says $250, but I bet it, again, he'll probably work with you on that. So he's got some nice churns. Minnow buckets. He's got quite a few minnow buckets. It's like $12 and $13 on the minnow buckets. Watering can. Nice watering can there. You, Got some old crates, but uh, he's got some uh, a bee sting crock right here. Three hundred dollars for that big bee sting. One hundred sixty for this one. One hundred forty for the crown. And we got the big ten gallon brown back here. One sixty. So he's got coins. Got a lot of coins in here. You can look through. Foreign coins, American coins, we got New Zealand, uh, old Eisenhower dollars, uh, 1964 foreign India, that might be silver. Some more pottery, I think that's uh, Hall and McCoy. Vintage director set, Look, old postcards. And lots of music albums. He's got, I think he said he's asked 18 of these totes full 
of music albums and they're all alphabetically ordered like C got Chicago $18 you know Clapton some were probably in there Carpenters so A we'll go down here you got A and what are we going to have got a like ACDC back in black so a lot of we'll go down here we got a Alice Cooper so a lot of good stuff there you like Indian stones wow you got a pretty good selection of Indian stones here wooden tokens a little bit of everything down here Kenny's like cast iron wear he's got like cast iron we got pickle wear here and he's got all kinds of good stuff back over here some got an old uh, phone right here these old fire extinguisher bulbs still all good shape in the original box 180 that's pretty cool having an original box lots of toys Vintage toys, a little bit of jewelry, decoy, Petroliana. He's got oil cans down here. Looks like uh, 18, 20 bucks for the big oil cans. Uh, it's got wooden crates again, like the air gentleman did down there. Hundred dollars for that big one right there. But that's a really good shape. Got the out. It's brewing company. We got an old vintage beer. It's got the little latch there on the top. That's pretty cool. We're at uh, one of the last booths that's open out here. The big chicken stop. And I'll back up a little bit so you can see all of these crates. Because there's a lot of them so soda, but I'm not sure on all of them. I, I don't recognize some of these right here. I don't know what they're for. I might have to ask. And I'll let you have more information here shortly. But uh, like I said, a lot of them are, that's a, uh, maybe for a wine or something but uh some of these I don't recognize uh glass so but we'll move on down because i see a nice coke machine down here and take a look at what that it's a little shorty so if you got a little small party room or something you can't put a big one in but you want something antique this would be great I'll try to get that in light but that's 1300 12.95 and it's not rusted or anything. Matter of fact, it's still holding water. So that's uh, super, because normally those are rusted out in the bottom. So that's a good deal. And I'll take a quick look in there, because sometimes it has a date. And there, Tennessee. And I think that says 40 4. <coughs> and of course, look, that's such good shape. You can still read that. Reads, that washes off really easy. I accidentally washed it off mine. That is awesome. Really nice piece right there. Not a bargain, but boy, it's a nice one. This is my last tent. These guys are setting up, but they have a lot of stuff out here. Look at all these signs. And they got lots of them yet to put up. So stacks of them everywhere. And they're still inside putting stuff up. So make sure this is one of your stops whenever you're heading towards Salina. If you like signs, he has a lot of them. And uh, we'll see if they've got any prices on them yet, but there might not be any prices. They've got them on both sides. Both sides here. Out front. You can see all those signs. And uh, I'll slip around just to see if I can see a price on anything on the back side. And I don't see a price on the back of that one. So we'll have to wait till tomorrow. Oh, wait, we got price here. $25, $30. So he has prices on a few of them already. So maybe I overlooked them. Let's take another look around front. And they maybe just got started on putting some of the prices on. I see one out here on the Church's Chicken. If you're a big Church's Chicken fan. 
and 125 for that one and Arby's has a price on it down here so give you guys an idea and it's marked down to 75 it was a hundred so a lot of Americana right through here and we'll slip around and I didn't see that one 125 for the pilot and uh, got some carnival glass might be Indiana glass Oh, we got some vintage uh, firearm ammo boxes and such. Those are pretty cool. I got a lot of more to get out. Boxes. Yeah, so I, I'm doing a little preview for people who are just getting out, get them a heads up on yeah. what to look for tomorrow or in the next this week. We'll have a lots of Griswold, lots of good old signs. He's, we can look, tell you all. Do you set up over at Portland at the uh, tractor show? Yes. Yeah, I've seen you there last year. They, these guys will have a lot of good stuff. Coming into Salina, well, actually on the north end of Salina, they're starting to set up. So, definitely give you some ideas for tomorrow. They'll be set up on both sides of the road. And some of them are selling already. So, we may stop and take a look at this one. Main Street in Salina. They've got some nice stuff out here already. I see a big Coke sign. Some vintage furniture. Uh, nice old Schwinn 185 and actually it's a Columbia check out the old U-Haul that's pretty cool that little pole behind and that little U-Haul 225 that's pretty neat isn't it look at that little guy and then we have a regular pedal tractor trailer a little probably international harvester and 55 for the little guy and it does have the tractor style wheels on it old washer <laughs> some old mowing vintage mowing things i like the lightning rods those are pretty cool nice old croc there and let's see 110 for the little croc I like this guy right here. That's pretty neat with that starburst on top. 95 for that whole assembly. And that's pretty, that right there is uh, expensive. So that's a, probably not too bad of a deal. <coughs> we'll look and see what kind of good stuff they have inside. I like that. That's pretty sharp. It's a nice clock. Got some neat vintage toys over here and golf clubs for those that like a uh, sports memorabilia got some old clubs here some old toys silverware nice tonka set back here it's even got the original box how neat is that? Look at that, it's got the original box with it. Some old hurricane lamps, nice. Wow, look at that big carnival punch set. That is really neat. That is a neat piece. That's a nice Coke setup right there. All the bottles, 110, really neat. There's a lot in here. All kinds of old whistles, oil containers. <laughs> I like that. Look at that Pac Man. That's pretty cool. He's starting to bring things in. And pretty good price on it, too. 195 for that big coke side. And some of us remember when these used to be in restaurants and you pick your songs. Pretty neat. And $60. Of course, there's another fan. Everybody likes those old vintage fans, and that one actually is a Westinghouse. 125. One. 
Yeah, 125, we're at Westinghouse. A few miles north of Salina will be my last stop of the day at uh, Greg Crouch's here. And uh, he's got all kinds of good stuff. You can see the signs everywhere. So we'll be pulling in here and looking at his cool crap. At my last stop for today, Tuesday, two days before the garage sale start, looking at cool crap. He's got all kinds of stuff. I don't even know what that is. Uh, but I see old truck tailgates. I see uh, old farm equipment parts. Old wagon wheels. I'll check out that little 50 cart later. We'll walk down here because I know there's some nice signs down here. So when you're north of Salina, make sure you stop in and check out the cool crap. We got a good old Coca-Cola cooler there. And uh, see if I can get a price on it. You know how much he wants for his Coke cooler? Uh, I'd do $100. $100 on the Coke cooler. Yeah, it's not too bad inside. It's missing a little tray, but other than that, it looks pretty decent. Hey, the tray's in the bottom. I don't... Do you see that? I get the tray right here. Oh. Yeah, it's, it's a little different, that tray is. Usually, they latch here in the top. I guess it's set on the ice, huh? Yeah. So, the gentleman's correct. It has a different tray than I've seen before. The ones I've always seen set at the top. You got a lot of nice signs here. You even got a gator. Bring your kids along and they gotta have a gator head. And of course, to catch that gator, you gotta have a trap. Look at this trap. That's a new house. What is it? It's a new house. New house number six bear trap. New house. And uh, right here you can see it. New house. And uh, 1950. So if you got a problem with bears or neighbors you don't like, right there you go. That's It'll be perfect you know and if your neighbors aren't so big we got smaller ones and these are wolf traps and again uh, and uh, you can see got number 50 here and a four and a half and then another big bear trap that's pretty neat all the big traps got some nice snowshoes looks like vintage ones good old school ones there and we'll check out some of them signs back there. It's a nice uh, gargoyle right there, mobile. How much is your uh, mobile gargoyle? Probably for about $1,800. $1, oh, he's got the frame, so all it's missing is the base, so it does have the... Yeah, it's 30-inch one, though. They're hard to find. Okay, yeah, it goes with the 30-inch. And I don't know if you heard them, but that's a Marathon bought Wake Up out. That might be the only sign there is. That might be the only one in existence. So if you're from around the Indianapolis area, that's something if you're picking, stop and check this out because you might want to take that back home. And we got Beck's Seed. And uh, we've got one of these old registered Holsteins. You don't see these very often. That's a pretty decent one. Firestone Tire. That's a really nice old porcelain right there. We got our big Coca Cola button. How much for the old Coca-Cola button down here? Seven fifty on the old Coca-Cola button. Place. He's got uh, some dinner bells, some old bells. Uh, could have been from a church or school. I'm guessing maybe a school. Uh, this one is uh, can't quite read it anymore. It's a place in Ohio here, but uh, they are one hundred fifty dollars. They have the yokes. And then he's got trolleys for bar, old barn trolleys. Uh, he's got the grapevine stuff, corn shellers, uh, washing machines, grills, bunches and bunches of bicycles over there, sprayers, little toys for your kids for battery power. And uh, he doesn't have as many signs back here as usually. He might have them in the barn. We're going to go to the barn in a second here. Make sure you stop in the barn this barn whenever you uh stop here at uh, greg's farm lots of pedals though he he likes his pedals and he usually keeps a few of them around and uh, this is a unique one we'll check out this pony 
250 for that uh that pony right there right right there we go that little john deere right there well, let's see that's a we got a three hole it's actually got an extra hole where the shifter was at and it looks like 400 for that three hole that's actually not bad considering and it's got 400 on that uh 4020 back there it needs a good bath and 200 on the little Ford, it needs a seat. And 200 on the Ford over here that needs a seat. Well, I don't know what it is about Fords that don't have seats. This Ford's got a seat though, but it's 700. Seats are expensive, that's why they don't have seats. Steering wheel's missing though. And uh, looks like another 4020. That's probably a little bit less because there's not much of it there, but two and a quarter. 600 for the case. You don't see those cases very often. That's pretty neat. Okay, so definitely that's a rare one right there. And that is, uh, looks like a 1070. The old Ford over there, I'm not sure what model it is, but it's definitely an older one as well. And that's a 700. So pretty neat. It's got a few old signs out here. And Better get our farm all we had behind us. It's an old farm all 450 and 850 for it. And that's pretty decent shape. That's all there. And it's got enough paint left on it. You might want to just leave it original. And that's a survivor right there. A shifter. It is missing a knob. That's about the only thing. We'll see how the hitch looks on it. Oh, well, hitch. That breaks on a lot of those. That's not real uncommon. And we'll come in here and we'll check out their fine selection of signs and stuff. And nice old beef sign, five and a quarter. <laughs> Got some jewelry. Uh, some random signs. Stoneware back there. We'll just take a quick look at the price on the piece of stoneware. Since we're in here, twenty dollars for a little jug. Twenty, twenty-five, fifteen, ten. So we're looking at uh, it was like ten, uh, fifty, twenty-five dollars for a stoneware. And Christmas ornaments for Miller fan. There's a big, big can. <laughs> so big can of Miller. We've got a lot of horse stuff in here if you like horses. And we've got this I don't see very often. A nitrogen tank. That's pretty unique. Let's see what the price is on that. Four dollars. That's that's probably a good deal. Renewer spreader, ten. Got a little bus over here. We'll check out this bus. Uh, I don't know what that is. That's a little bit newer toy. We've got some broken older toys for parts. We've got some that are in one piece. And got some old Tonka stuff down there. Fire engine, eight dollars. Harley Davidson motorcycle. He's on an old uh, Sportster. Actually, that's a flat track bike. And we'll see how much that is. How's it going? five dollars for the old uh, flat track racer right there that's probably a good deal Excuse me. Yeah. we've got some old stereo stuff over here if you like the vintage stereo stuff we'll slip down here we got some milk I told you earlier that a lot of people like to collect that milk stuff and we got the gumball machines 40 45 bucks that's a really clean old plow $35 we'll tip it back so you can see that is really clean I don't know what the going price is on that one ah that's the bummer two three four five be six bottom but it's missing one of the bottoms big old disc 
and that big disc is 20. I like this little guy. Look at this little true scale, I think. And it's 55 for that little true scale. John Deere. It doesn't have the yellow wheel on it though. And then we got a cast iron. I think it's a case. Picker. Look at that. How much is that? $70. Everything's still 12. That's pretty neat. We got a loader tractor here for Old International. 35. Not bad. Oh, it's still got the true scale John Deere. Missing a few parts. 70. So, I'm missing the chain here, but. It's got the chain over there and still got the, the dump back here so that's pretty neat got some cast iron stuff down here got a puppy dog fifty dollars cast iron <laughs> tails broke off stoplight so old lunch box boxes if you collect lunch boxes and and tins we got our oil stuff over here a lot of oil stuff Petroliana. We'll take a quick look. We got a shell can, thirty dollars. We've got a marathon can, twenty dollars. John Deere Puritan Lion. That's a little different, fifteen dollars. A lot of oil cans. So if you're into oil cans, Sapphire, twenty-five. And a little video stuff. So slip on around past uh, some more agricultural oil cans got some more license plates Illinois Arizona Ohio mostly Ohio that's where we're at oh, we got some more over here collect the license plates he's got a nice looking mail pouch mail pouch thermometer in here and it's a comfortable 75 degrees so not too bad 375. Uh, Kubota, that's pretty cool. 210. I think you might have picked that up at uh, for recovery last year. I think I saw that one when I bought my uh, Milwaukee sign. If you go back through my uh, videos. And uh, we'll look at a couple more. There's a uh, Penn's Oil 150. That's got the chalkboard. That's pretty neat. Like I said, Greg's got a lot of nice signs. Uh, 125 for this one and uh, he's got one of the Texco fire chief ones back behind there porcelain we got Pepsi 125 it's got chalkboard as well you can get some smalls like for the phone company 75 porcelain so pretty nice stuff the little 50 uh, John Deere cart Greg says it's $100, so I don't think that's going to be here all weekend. Good sandblasting inside. It doesn't look like it's rusted through anywhere. Uh, it will I'll go back around the front real quick. So you can see that it is a 50 and it's got the tag. And it's actually got the original little tag down there even. So that's pretty cool. And he's got a front of an Oliver here. If that's 15 bucks, that'll make some nice art. For someone, if they want to need something on like a bar or something, that's a pretty neat idea. I see a lot of country music bars down Nashville. There's something different. Look at that scoreboard back there. That's pretty neat. That makes somebody a really neat thing for their bar. If they're big into sports. And a lot of toys for kids. You know, you can get your kids starting NBA right here. So, this is my lap stop for today. I uh, appreciate you watching. And I'll be posting more stuff. You have a good day. Thanks for watching.